coming in somewhere. This is my living. And I damn work hard to make it work. My fighters, CS's fighters, unbelievable. And what I, I do have, and it makes me proud, I have the greatest team in the history of combat sports. I, I've worked with them. I'm going to start. Patrick Sullivan on our MMA side. He's another son to me. What I found is doing this, when we, when we launched our MMA division 12, 12 or 13 years ago, oh my God, what a mess. These matchmakers were doing side deals. Uh, Matt, fighters, you train six weeks and opponent would come in 20 pounds overweight, okay? And I finally said, Pat, come into my office. You ready for this? We're gonna work together you're going to be the best matchmaker in MMA because I trust you. There is no side day deals. And I'm going to give you all the knowledge and wisdom I have, and then I'm going to let you loose. And that's what I did. On our boxing, Mike Parenti is one of the best matchmakers in boxing. Okay? These guys are all educated. They all have degrees. Okay? Matchmaking is one of the most challenging parts of putting events together, okay? So it takes a lot of work. I know, I matchmake for 20 years of myself. If everyone could have their phones off here. So an event, Friday night, way in tomorrow, the components are pulling together to make this all work. This is damn challenging. For a fighter to have the opportunity to get in that cage or that ring, there's a lot of components to put together to make it work. We have an arena half empty Friday night or next Friday at the boxing. It's financial risk every time we go out of the box. So it's teamwork, it's working hard together. My son, Jimmy. If none of you have met, met my son Jimmy, I, I, I begged him to get involved in the business, but he was such a busy attorney, developing his attorney career and his office, he couldn't. But then he got the bite. Something, he got the bite. And the enthusiasm came out. And it's unbelievable uh, on what he does, not only with the company, but handling our legal affairs and all. Big Fred Blank, he handles tickets, he handles everything. He's been with me since a young person from Johnson Wales University. Justin Madoff, you guys have met. Louis Seriano, Marcus Pappas is just unbelievable on what he does. He's a coordinator with working with the boxers, okay? And I just don't want to forget anybody else from my team. Uh, to my left is my dearest friend of life. You all know him, all right? He's with me 24 hours a day. Mickey DeCesare, please give him some love. <laughs> well, two of the best, best, professional people in this business. With Will Paul, our official CES photographer. Will, please raise your hand. So when he tells you not to take it, when he tells you to take a picture, make sure you take it. Because it's gone. He's so good at what he does, it's unbelievable. Andre, Andre, a video, he's the man. He, he will follow you around. He'll do stories with you. He is going to help your career. So we have a whole package, okay? From publicist all the way down the line. Um, what I do want to do go to right now is, is one other plus. Imagine week to week, Friday night, major, major MMA show. 
going to be seen all over the world on UFC Fight Pass. Major. The following Friday night, major live championship boxing seen all over the world. So I can direct anyone's career to the point of the only thing I can't do is get in there and fight for them. I can't get in a cage. I can't get in the ring. I tried it and I got arrested. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm, go I'm going to protect every fighter. I don't care if respectfully Matt's opponent come in here on a short notice. I respect the hell out of them. It's going to be war. Okay? Like every one of them. But if you haven't taken that walk up them three stairs to get in that cage or to get in that ring, it's a special person that does it. They don't have a teammate to pass the ball to. They don't have someone blocking for them. It's them. So it takes courage and determination. And I respect somebody that's 2-12 and 12 that, that gets into the ring. I respect a young fighter that has um, someone that uh, represents him and asks, Mr. B, we'd love to sign with you on the boxing side. This fight is from Connecticut and he's got a big home base. And I said, you know what? And he traveled almost an hour and a half to get here. I said, let him come to the press conference. I'm going to invite him to the fights, both fights. And I want to see what CS is all about. So I'd just like him to stand up and acknowledge, because he, to Sean, please, uh, please get up and, and, where the hell is the mic? I lost the mic. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sean, why don't you come up here and just say your name and where in Connecticut you're from. How y'all doing? My name is Deshaun. I go by Too Sweet in Boxing World. So everybody knows that Too Sweet from Greenwich, Greenwich, Connecticut. And have you turned pro yet? Yes, I am pro. And what is your record? Four, one, three knockouts. Great. So I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to see what this is all about. And, and you know, the state of Connecticut is a great state. And imagine fighting in the capital of the state of Connecticut, Hopper. And if you haven't been at the Connecticut Convention Center, when it's all set up, it's major league. It looks beautiful. So you're going to see it all, and hopefully next week, you, I, and your team will get together, and hopefully you'll be on the next card. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's give him some love. <laughs> now, when you talk at Greenwich, it's, it's about an hour and a half ride from here. Am I correct? Oh, okay. All right. So, so it's a pretty good ride. So now, so now we're we're going to we're going to just give me about five more minutes because MMA this Friday, boxing next Friday. Then listen to this. I said, damn it, we're going to be in Connecticut. We're going to have the boxing ring up. I'm going to get permission from USA Boxing. I'm going to get permission from the Connecticut Convention Center and both the MMA side and boxing. Your fights will be all over, so I hope you come and support this. So listen to this. We have a major league amateur show, USA Boxing, Saturday night, September 25th, right at Hartford, Connecticut, right at the Connecticut Convention Center. I just want to introduce a very popular fighter. Uh, from Connecticut that's going to be on the amateur fights and uh, I just like him to stand and, and acknowledge his dad is a very dear friend of mine. Damn, he reminds me of a young Vinny Pazienza. He reminds me of a, a young uh, Boom Boom Mancini. Uh, he's got all the ingredients. He's a good looking young man. Great athlete beside boxing. So let's give some off to Gianni Ligari. Gianni it's good to have you on the card. He's a, he's a pretty damn good uh, ball player as well. So, with that, 
let's give it up to Coach Carlos Nez. Uh, hold on. Coach Carlos Nez is doing the matchmaking uh, for this show. Uh, I told him to put a good show together, and him and Johnny Callis are working together. Uh, I know that uh, he doesn't want to get up here and speak, but but I do want to talk about his gym. I want to talk on what a great, uh, like most of the coaches are here, how he works with the youth uh, in boxing. Uh, so Coach Nevs, I'm just going to ask you uh, a couple of questions. You can answer from right there. Where is your gym? Okay, so Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's a good fighting city. So you've been coaching for a long time and I am so honored to have you matchmaking this this show uh, uh, Saturday September 25th so at this point how many fights do we have coach we have so far 16 matches okay that's great and as I asked the coach to have as many gyms involved as possible and I'm sure that that's what's being done so I'm sure you got some great, exciting fights because one of our former fighters from New London, Connecticut, uh, Masha Aquapino, she's a coach in New London with my friend uh, Kent Ward, and she has a female fighter, Stevie, uh, that that is going to be fighting one of Johnny Callis's fighters. Am I correct? That sounds like a very exciting. So listen, Coach Nev's has put a tremendous amount of time into this. It's not too late if you've got a good amateur fighter that's popular, okay, you talk to him, all right, and mix and match, but we wanna fill up that stadium Saturday night with the amateurs, okay? Um, so again, the MMA show will be over, championship boxing will be over, and, and hopefully everyone will support that. So I wanted to, I, I wanted to talk about that uh, I wanted to ask Marcos if uh, Jimmy Williams' opponent is ready to talk. Oh, okay. So, uh, Greg, I want to welcome you. Uh, I, I want to welcome you here uh, to the press conference. We would have loved to have you here in person, but I know with your schedule and everything that uh, that was hard to do. Uh, because Jimmy Williams would have come to your city next week at, a, at another press conference. Greg, you're a warrior. You're a battler. This is for 